He never spoke to a soul. Isn't he there to give an audience? Hey! Are you going in like that? No. I'm going in like this. find your Englishman? I overtook him 50 miles from Calais. What did he say? Nothing, Your Eminence. Typically English. What did he do? Fought, Your Eminence. Typically English. And then? We had an excellent fight, Your Eminence. Did you leave him dead? Oh, not very. He was cursing heartily. Cursing? A futile exercise, my friend. Widely practiced, but entirely ineffectual. Even if one happens to be a churchman and does it professionally? With that tongue, you might have made a churchman yourself. My life has been full of narrow escapes, sir. There's your money. I suppose you'll rush to the tables and lose it all. Oh, no, Your Eminence. I rush to the tables and double it. Barrow. You heard I had issued an edict against dueling? No, Your Eminence. I was awake, fighting a duel by your eminence's orders. That was in the service of France. 4,000 noblemen were killed in duels last year. My own brother among them. I am determined to put an end to it. I mean this, Barreau. If I fight from sheer force of habit, I'll have you hanged.
trying to get English money for a general ride. Find Riveral. Riveral, I saw the Marquis of Morel in my anteroom. Arrest him. Yes, Your Eminence. The Count of Modeny is here, too. Arrest him. Yes, Your Eminence. Yes, Joseph. They will hang. Tell me I am ruthless. You are ruthless. Tell me I am cruel. You are. And rightly. These men are traitors. Followers of that arch traitor, the Duke of Foix. Plotting the ruin of all that I've toiled for ten years to build up. At this very moment, he is across the Spanish border, enlisting troops for a general rising. And his friends are trying to raise money in England to support him. If I am not cruel, we shall have the South in flames again. And civil war in France. Count of Montdenis, by order of his eminence, the Cardinal, I arrest you. In the town with a fandala, the fandy riddle, where lives a priest of high renown. He keeps an orchard fair to see, where dead men hang from every tree. And perished all who disagree with his fandala. from Gilles de Barrow, with all speed. Read it. Would you hang the dog that kills the rat? He presumes on past services. They have been many, Your Eminence. I know. That is why I warned him. your last throw. <laughs> well, if you're right, heaven's going to be a dull place.
Marquis de Marrel. From the city marshal of Foix. The city marshal of Foix reports that he is informed by a reliable agent that. Go on. The city marshal of Foix reports he is informed by a reliable agent that the Duc de Foix visited the castle. And? and left again for the Spanish border. What? Fools, dogs, idiots. I've got troops posted all along the border and they've let him slip again. Once lay hands on Dufois and France is safe. He's the head and front of the whole movement. And without him, all the rest are like sheep without a shepherd. But he comes and goes as he likes. He propels this rising at his own leisure. And every day my position weakens, my influence wanes. Couldn't you occupy his castle, arrest his women folk? Yes, and set the whole countryside in a blaze and lose my one chance to lay the scoundrel by the heels? His wife and sister. Where a whole regiment has failed, one man might succeed. He would have to be a clever man. There may be time. Call Rivero. Hurry. Rivero! Gilles de Bellerot. Gilles de Bellerot. Gilles de Bellerot. Come down. By order of the Cardinal. To his eminence, Bellerot. conduct me to my friend, the Cardinal. Prefect, show this gentleman the way to the Cardinal. Well, the present your sentence is suspended. Better my sentence than myself, your eminence. I'm not so sure of that. But I'm going to give you a chance to prove it. By serving France as you have never served her before. Not another duel, your eminence. Yes. Of wit. Oh. I'm asking you to succeed where an army has failed. Mm -hmm. You mentioned me. You know the Duke's castle in Foix? No. All the better. The Duke's wife and sister live in the castle. He visits them from time to time. You will gain access to the castle and you will win their confidence. I don't care how. You will arrest the Duke and bring him to Paris. Will you try it? Try? The eminence may consider it done. Don't be too certain. Should they find you out, you'll be lucky if they give you a quick death. If you fail me, I can promise you a slow one. Bring this man to me, and your sentence shall be cancelled. Father Joseph will give you all the money you require. You will need someone with you. Marius! Your Eminence. Your Honor. He doesn't please you. I prefer to work alone. If I know Marius, he'll follow you like a dog. If I know Your Eminence, he'll train me like a hound. Both, I hope. Joseph, give him the money. Now go and bring the Duke of Foix to me. One moment, sir. You know our mission, I suppose? Yes, sir. Can you ride? Yes, sir. Can you use your hands? You'd be surprised. Hmm. The sooner we start, the better. What time is it? It's uh, 10 o'clock. 
Hey, 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 that's my watch. Yes, sir. Where did you find it? In your pocket. When? When you asked me if I could use my hand. The devil you did. Give it to me. I have. Where is it then? In your pocket. In my pocket? I told you you'd be surprised. Uh, shall I keep the money or will you? Keep it. It'll save time. Yes. your people guide me to the mountain path. You better ask them. Who wants to earn a couple of crowns? Is it my imagination or is there a certain lack of enthusiasm? We don't like strangers here. Well, you don't have to poison them. You are the Duke of Fort's people, aren't you? We are. And he is in Spain? He might be. Do I cross the river to reach the castle? Answer. Which road do I take? You'll take the road home if you've got any sense. <laughs> Frightened men live long. Not here.
My name is Raymond de Bas. What happened? I, I was attacked. Hit on the head, thrown into the river. Do you know where you are? No, I, I lost consciousness. You are the guest of the Duke of Foix until you recover. How can I thank you, madame? Louis, take the gentleman to the tower. See that he has a warm bed and find him some dry clothes. You are too kind, madame. Thank me tomorrow. Good night. Good night. This is my sister in law. Mademoiselle. Not a very clever spy. You think he's a spy? No good ever came out of that river. I'd have flung him back. Do you believe his story? Not a word of it. Nor any man's, for that matter. Never did. I must find out about this man. Pierre, I want to see Laval. At once. Why are you staring at me? I don't need you. Get out of here. Don't you understand? Are you deaf? Get out. Why doesn't he speak? He is dumb, sir. He has no tongue. When the Cardinal's people took La Rochelle, they spared his life, but cut out his tongue. Why? He was a spy, sir. Dangerous train. Very dangerous, sir. Mm -hmm. Very. We have to serve the cause, Laval. But we are not murderers. But we did not touch a hair of his head, my lady, I swear. You did not attack him? No. Now push him in the river? No. Was he alone? He had a servant with him. Oh. He has forgotten to mention that. Did he know he was near the castle? Yes, my lady. So what did he say? He asked for a guide to the pass. He said he was on his way to Spain. To Spain? Yes. I didn't say a word about him. I never thought he'd get here. Better here than on his way to Spain. That's all. Thank you. Laval, send a pigeon to Paris. Find out if they know anything about a man who calls himself Raymond de Bath. Raymond de Bath. Very well, my lady. <sighs> Do you wish the candle out, sir? No, no. Please. Uh, no. Probably turn up tomorrow with a cock and bull story. And my kill club. What shall we do? We'll write to Edmond and ask him. Until we have his answer, we'll keep the man here. He should be under lock and key. But he won't get far with the crow watching. Supper is served, Your Grace. Just one moment, Louis.
I be frank, madame? You'll have to be. You will think me very ungrateful. Possibly. You will never forgive me. Maybe. You have made a remarkable recovery. Yes. But since you see fit to explore the house at night, you had better tell me what you are looking for. Food, madame. Food? You certainly did not die of hunger here. Oui. The gentleman will have supper with us. And of Jesus Christ bless us, and also the food that we are about to eat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, so be it. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's a bad omen. Paris, aren't you? No. I'm from Normandy. But I've been living in Paris. And you are journeying just for pleasure? Oh, no, madame. I'm on my way to Spain. To Spain? Yes. Why to Spain? To see the Duke of Foix. Why do you want to see him? Oh, we may be glad of a good sword. If your gracious command would help me to guide, madame. I would proceed to Spain as soon as I have my horses. In a few days, we might give you a good guide. Thank you, madame. In the meantime, you had better stay here. Thank you, madame. In Paris, you did not happen to know any of the Duke's friends? No, no. Why did you leave Paris, then? Oh, I left Paris because uh, the cardinal wanted to hang me. Why? Dueling, madame. For once, I almost like the cardinal. Thou shalt not kill. And of course, you are a Protestant. And you, a Catholic? I'm afraid I have no religion. How can you live without something to believe in? I have my honor, madame, and my sword. Your honor? Yes, of course. We return thanks unto thee for all thy blessings, O omnipotent God, who liveth and reigneth forevermore, so be it. Let me see, where was it you were at that? At the river. I was looking for a place to cross. And you were one man against many. At that moment, yes. I had left my men with the horse. Poor Marius. I fear the world. A faithful servant? Oh, he followed me like a dog. Oh. I wonder what has happened. Mar You faithful dog. What did I tell you, madame? Master, you don't know what I've gone through. I, and, and you don't know what I've gone through. I was attacked, hit on the head, thrown into the river, picked up for dead. What happened to you? I don't think I'll tell mine now. No, no, you must be tired out. And you, you are very through with nice rest for you. Yes. We'll find a room for him. Oh, no, madame. You wouldn't think of sleeping anywhere but at the foot of my bed. Would you mind? I wouldn't think of it. I knew you wouldn't. Come. Good night, your grace. Good night, my lady. I 
I'm sure of it. He was terrified that his man would be him. He's a bad man, I swear. How do you know, Marie? He only looked at me once, and a cold shiver ran down my spine. He did honor to your dinner, Marie. We can't believe that he was hungry. We always are. They only care for two things, and food's the other one. family is well known in Normandy, but none of our friends have met anyone called Raymond de Bart in Paris. A spy? Why not make short work of him? But we don't know that he's a spy. We don't know, but... but I hate the man. Yes, I saw the two men riding into the courtyard. Who are they? Baron Breteuil and Count Rossignac, two of the Duke's friends from Navarre. How do you know? I have my method. And I know something more. There's a military patrol following them. How soon can they get here? Not before midnight. They're on foot. Listen, Marius. Hmm? There's something else I want you to find. I have a suspicion that there's an underground passage from the castle to some place in these woods. What makes you think so? I have my method. I'll find it. You must. Trust me. I don't. But, Master. But if they catch you nosing about, they'll certainly hang you. Yes, but if we don't get our man, the Cardinal will hang us both. That's the bright future. Yes. Very. And remember that we are anxious to accompany these two gentlemen to Spain. Why not take him with you to Spain? And let him more decide. But he might attack us. And we shall be carrying the diamonds. And without the diamonds, there'd be no pay for the recruits. The Cardinal's been told in our train already. We can't afford to take any further chances. No, you are right. Very well. I'd better give you the diamonds at once. Seven diamonds and two sapphires. Spain will be a fine market for them. And we can pay the recruits. What do you want? May I crave a short audience, Your Grace? I'm busy at the moment. I'll let you know, Monsieur de Bar. He did. Let's make short work of him. We can't kill a man who might be innocent. What does he want of you? I'll find out at once. And you'd better keep the diamonds, then. Yes. I think they'd be safer with me if he did see. Why? Where are you going? With the two gentlemen to stay. How do you know they are going to Spain? You have a poor opinion of my mental powers, madame. Not of your mental powers. 
My honesty? Mental power. My honesty? You are wrong. Help me to go to Spain. But you said you were so happy here. I've been happier here than at any time in my life. And why? I'd better not tell you. I think you have. Oh, please. I can't understand anything but deceit. Please, try to be honest. I'm a guest in this house. You are the wife of the master of this house. Please don't ask anymore. Are you in the habit of running away when you fall in love? Did the virtuous women in Kai teach you that habit? Are we poor provincial women so intimidating? You are not afraid anymore. No. I would face damnation if the mistress of the house cared for me. <laughs> the mistress of the house? No. I am afraid you haven't made a great impression on the mistress of the house. <laughs> I'm sorry to shatter your dream, but I am afraid she doesn't care two straws about you. He wants to go to Spain. I thought as much. Well, we can't take him with us. No, too dangerous. Where are the diamonds? The Baron has them. And we leave as soon as the moon is up. How did you get? I just squeezed past the Baron on that narrow staircase. Hard, Master, hmm? My fair. Mm. Very well. Uh, a third. Make it a fourth and call it this. A fifth. One stone. One little stone. Oh, if I hadn't taken old know what they're worth. For one stone I could buy an estate. Where? In England. I thought you were so loyal to the Cardinal. Mm, not if I could be a squire in England. Open the gate. Open the gate. Open the gate. Open the gate.
Where did Baron Bray to you? He was here. He left a few minutes ago. Which direction? Uh, Louis, which direction? Towards the past, my lady. Did he by the main road? I don't think so, sir. Which road? I think he took the west road, sir. The West Road. Poor fellows. They will be searching all night. And all tomorrow. By which time the battle will be across the border. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it a lovely morning? Yes. A poem. A perfect evening. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have the perfect eve. You agree? Thank you. Marguerite, did you suspect Monsieur de Bart of being a poet? Not of being a poet. He says this is the Garden of Eden. You mean before the serpent arrived? I meant before the angel appeared. Indeed. Well, let me tell you this. Milady, may I have a word with you? Some news must have arrived. Count Rossignac arrived. No. Have you seen him? No, but I saw his horse. Where? Hidden away in those woods. How do you know it was his? I never forget a face. It's a last throw. Without the jewels, in is ruined. He must have the men, and he must pay them. But where can the Baron have lost them? I can't imagine. It's incredible. Well, it's no use standing here talking. We must search every corner of the house. The Baron's room, the underground passage, everywhere. Come, Elise. has come back. They must have missed the diamonds. Where the body is, there shall the vultures be gathered together. What on earth do you mean by that? Where the horse is, the underground passage can't be far away. Mm -hmm. You have your moments. Yes, and you have my diamonds. Neither yours nor mine. Oh! What? <laughs> oh. Look! Goodbye, And tell him not to despair, not to give up. If we can't find the diamond, we'll find some other way to raise the money. Bye. Can I help you? In 
what way? Well, you work as a spy. Spy? Yes. It's an ugly word, I know. But then, it's not a very pretty profession, is it? I know nothing about it. Oh, please. I've used my hospitality, but don't insult my intelligence. You wrong me. Wrong you? How could one wrong anything so vile as you? You got into the house by a trick, seeking information to send to your dirty master. I am my own master. Then your master is dirtier than I thought. I meant Richelieu, the butcher. Oh, if only I were a man. Yes, if only you were, I'd make you eat every word you've spoke. All true. Not one. Liar. Silence, I take that from no one. When I followed you just now, it was with a purpose. Of course. To find the passage. No. To repay in some small measure the hospitality which you accuse me of abusing. Why is it blood money? With this. Which I think you lost. Even before you lost your temper. Oh. The diamond. Well. I found them on a path in the forest. You mean? Take them back and take back the things you've said and the things you've thought about me. The whole my wicked thoughts. After all the horrible things I called him, can you imagine how I felt? But you thanked him. You told him you were sorry. No. He gave me no trust. How clever of him. He knows something about women. He knows nothing whatever about women. Very well, darling. We won't quarrel about it. The question is, how will you get the diamonds to Edmond? But don't you see? He can take them. And yet, give my letter to Edmond and tell him everything. I wish I could go with him. You don't know how I miss Edmond. It's so lonely without him. See? After all this time? Yes. And I'm not ashamed of it. Wonderful. You don't understand. How could you? You are not in love. No, darling. I'm not in love. It was a masterstroke giving back those diamonds. Which you wanted to divide. Well, after all, I'd stolen them. And that's the rule among gentlemen. Yes. You don't have to be a gentleman. You've got brains. You are too kind. You look ahead. You see things. Subtle, that's what you are. Foxy. You flatter me. I do. You should have seen her. Tears in her eyes. Sobs in her voice. She's yours, and with her you get all the rest. Hmm? What? I said with her you get all the rest. What do you mean? One, you get the woman. Two, through the woman you get the husband. Three, the cardinal hangs the husband. Four, you get the widow. Five, with the widow you get back the diamonds. Six, you remember who got them for you, and they all lived happily ever after. That's a lie. Search the car. We have reliable information that the Duke is somewhere in the castle. We know it. You better save time and tell us where. Why, when you know it? I've got him, sir. I've got him. Who the devil are you? Isn't he the Duke, sir? To 
my deep regret. I'm not the Duke. What are you doing here? I'm a guest here. Are you? I bear the King's commission. Oh, His Majesty has my sympathy. What's this? Look, sir. Be careful. I am not a woman. Come out. Oh, master. Thank you, man. No, don't. He insulted you. But you can't kill a man for that. He might kill me. Arrest that man. Arrest? Aren't you going to fight? No. Don't you want to kill me? Yes. But not with a sword. With a rope. Assisting the enemy, my friend, means hanging. <laughs> Take four men and march the prisoner down to the guardroom. If he tries to escape, shoot him. Take him away. Come. You two stay here. I'm going to search the castle. What is it? Tiny drop of no thank you, Willie. Really. I do appreciate your sympathy, my dear. But just now, all I want is to be left alone. I understand. Good night, darling. Good night. And 
so, madam. Good night. And goodbye. You are not leaving. But I must. I have news for you. I know now that I can trust you. Edmond is coming back. When? Soon. But he can't tell to a day. Now, you will stay, won't you? I... I've been here too long. But don't you want to meet Edmond? Yes, of course, but... Uh, I might bring danger on your house. No. The soldiers will be off again tomorrow. And if they should return, we can hide you. Would you have me stay? Yes. I'll stay. Thank you, and good night. Good night. I confession to make. I deceived you. Oh. When you first arrived here, you remember? Could I forget? You called me Madame. You thought I was Edmond's wife. Yes. I'm not Elise's wife. I am uh, Edmond's sister. You are not married? Forgive me. first moment, I had to love you. to the other one. While all the time, it was the other one that was the one, and not the other one. What are you talking about? The Duchess. But she's not the Duchess. It's the unmarried one that's the Duke's wife. So that the other one is not the one. Do I make myself clear? No. But I know what you mean. Well, what are you going to do about it? I wish I knew. It makes me laugh when I look back. I thought you were all kinds of horrible things. You were right. But dear, what is the use of telling me that? I know you. And do you know that I came here on an assumed name? What? The past. The name of my mother's family, not mine. What did you use it? Because my name is Gilles de Barreau. Gilles de... But I like it. What's wrong with it? The name of a gambler, a duelist, the Black Death. That's what they call me. A man not fit to lick your shoes. But you left out something. And that is? The name of the man I know. What do I care what you have been? The past is past. How do you know my name? How do I know that it is your name? What do you mean? May I ask what you're doing in this house? <laughs> I happen to be the Duke's guest. What are you doing? I happen to be the Duke. Love? 
But, but are you certain that... You don't know what he's done for us. He found the diamonds. You've got them back? Yes, thanks to him. And he risked his life for us when the soldiers came. You've done me a great service. Let me do you another. Go back to Spain. Go back? Why? Don't ask me. Go. Go while you are safe. Safe? From whom? of the Cardinal's Commission. And by the same commission, I order you to leave this house. The Cardinal's Commission. Where is it? Here. By these presents, I command and empower Gilles de Barreau, Sieur de Barreau, to seek for, hold, arrest, and deliver to the governor of the Bastille the body of Edmond, Duke of Foire, and to do all such acts and things as shall be necessary to effect such arrest and delivery, for which these shall be his want. Richelieu. I thought you were an honest man on the wrong side. I see you're a scoundrel on the right side. What are your orders? When do we leave? Tomorrow morning. I shall be at your disposal. King? None. No news from Beno? No. The last 
four left to cling to. The one card that might yet win the game. The capture of the foie. And no news. No news. Your Eminence. Well? Oh, quite well, thank you, Your Eminence. Fool. The Duke, have you got him? I have. Where? The rest. Where? On his way to the Bastille. And Mr. De Bello? Had my instructions to take him there. You mean he sent you ahead with the news? Well, you can put it that way. I wish to speak to the Lady Marguerite. No. Sorry, Edmond, but I want to listen to what he has to say. You told me not so long ago you would not judge me hastily again. I'm not interested in anything you might say. But you might be interested in what I am going to say. I want to buy my brother's life. I can pay better than the Cardinal. These diamonds are worth a fortune. Take them. You misjudge me. I never turned traitor to the hand that employed me nor sold my own side. I blame for my brother's freedom. Then... under the gallows to arrest an outlaw. If I had not arrested him, the soldiers would have done it. Do you expect me to be grateful? No. I expect nothing. But there's one course still open to me. The road there leads to Bordeaux, where you have friends and where you can find the ship. That road is yours and your brother. He's free to go wherever he pleases. But you... My road is straight ahead to Paris, back to the man who sent me. That will be your day. I pay the penalty, and I redeem my honor. the impossible. And then to set him free. Why? He must have had a reason. The lady begs most urgently for an audience of his eminence. No. Who is it? 
Lady Marguerite, sister of the Duke of Foix. He had a reason. You have courage, madame. I am at your eminence's mercy. And so you presume on it? No. I beg for it. Oh, not for myself. For whom? For Monsieur de Béraud. Gilles de Béraud is a traitor to the hand that paid him. The same hand that signed his death warrant. And snatched him from the gallows. To serve your own hand. To betray our cause. To save France. From what? Do we Protestants love France less than you? Because we are of a different faith? Because we rebel against a dictatorship where no honest man dare speak his mind? Honest women do, apparently. I thought you came here to beg. For your honor, forgive me. For your honesty? Willingly. And forgive Gilles. Why? There's no honesty there. His orders were to arrest a rebel. He did. And to bring him to me. He betrayed my trust. But if he hadn't, he would have betrayed mine. No doubt. But am I to forgive him because he fell in love with you? No. But because he did your work. And he did better. Better? Yes. Without bloodshed, there will be no rebellion. Edmond is on his way to Bordeaux. The Duke of Foix is on board a ship for England. Oh, your eminence knows everything. Except one valid reason why Gilles de Barreau should escape a hanging. But your eminence... Enough. I've already been too patient. Not content with stirring up rebellion among your people, you admit having seduced my trusted agent from his duty. You came here today at your own risk. Joseph, call the captain of the guard. It means since you were here last, sir. Hmm? In what way? Haven't you heard? The Cardinal's down. Down? Finished. The King won't even see him. Now he'll hang no more poor devils. One more, I fancy. Master! I guess I should find you here. Where's our man? I don't know. I don't know. He hasn't escaped. I set him free. You set him free? Mm-hmm. What for? You wouldn't understand. He touched my honor. Your honor? What about my neck? In no danger. That's why I sent you ahead. Get the credit for the capture and escape the penalty for the rest. Three times he didn't even the king wouldn't see him. He wouldn't be innocent. The cardinal is disgraced. All you have to do is to wait two or three days until he's banished or his enemies finish him. Don't you see? Yes, yes, I see. But I gave my word. The cardinal holds a levy at 12 o'clock. Maybe nobody will be there. I ship. You're mad. He hasn't the power to reward you, but he can still hang you. Don't do it, Master. Don't do it. Two months ago, I wouldn't have given a rap, but now... Don't do it. Thank you, Mario. But this is... I know that accursed honor. The more I feel of it, the more I thank God I'm not a gentleman. Master. Master, listen, listen. There's still time. I know where you could lie safe. As safe as a rat in a rick. Yes, as a rat. On the king's service. King, sir. I knew it. I knew it. That means he's in power again. Now you will hang. 
His Majesty desires me to express his great satisfaction with the news that the Duke of Foix is in flight and that his followers are without a leader. To mark His Majesty's appreciation of your Eminence's cleverness in suppressing the revolution without bloodshed. <coughs> his Majesty is on his way here to express his gratitude in person. Look at them, all coming back to lick his hand. Master, Master, for the last time. I wish to see his eminence. Gambler, duelist, bully, and now a traitor. You gave me your word of honor. You don't know the meaning of honor. If I didn't, why am I here? Yes. Why are you here? To pay the penalty. Nonsense. You're here because you've heard that my power is gone. Yes. Your power to reward me, but not to hang me. I promised you nothing so quick as a hanging. Your punishment shall be such that before death frees you, you will have time to realize what it costs to play false with me. Joseph, fetch the woman. Thank <laughs> you. 